Hey, it's Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. I'm back from a little bit of a hiatus. I've been busy working on our new web store that you can find at www.flyfishsd.com. And uh, now I'm back to tying flies and fishing a bit too. This is a fly I've been fishing a bit recently. It's a version of a Clouser minnow that we've been using for both white bass and smallmouth bass on the Missouri River. It would also work great for a streamer for big browns or uh, a streamer for largemouth bass. Pretty much anything that wants to eat a big minnow or bait fish, this is a good go-to pattern. I've got a 60 degree jig hook in the vise. I'm going to take 140 uh, denier ultra thread and start with a little bit of a thread coat on the front part of the hook. About a third of the way back on the hook, I want to put a presentation eye on or a um, real eye. These come in a few different names and makes, but really get some good thread wraps on. And that figure eight pattern. And then I kind of go under underneath those wraps and then back across as well. Then I'll take a little zap a gap, lock that down a little bit, make sure the fly is plenty durable. Now we'll go ahead and wrap fairly tight wraps back to the bend. And tie in some silver crystal flash. I should mention that this fly is called a rabbit strip jig clouser. Kind of a crazy name for a for a fly, but it is a variation on a clouser minnow, but get some that silver flash. Now I'm going to take a barred flesh tone rabbit strip. We're going to tie that in so that the hide side is up as we're tying it here. This fly is going to flip over. We want the fur side up as it's being drawn through the water. Just make sure you got that strip tied in very well. We're going to come up behind the eyes here and move in front of the eyes. We're going to tie in our bucktail. Just got our bucktail. I'm using white here. I'll use white actually for the top and bottom. I just want this fly to be kind of a a neutral bait fish tone. What I'm gonna do is cut a nice straight line and right in front of the, the eyes I'm gonna grab that bucktail, tie it down, make kind of a nice taper, then I'll switch my thread behind pull it down over the eye. Secure that down and make some nice thread wraps there. Now we'll flip the fly over, move back in front of the eye, get a little more white bucktail. Tie that in in the same fashion. You could make these any color scheme you want. I'm doing more of a all white version because that's been working to imitate the bait fish on the 
Missouri River where we've been. Just kind of spread that around. You should end up with a fairly nice taper here. Now we can finish the fly with just some whip finishes or half hitches. Add just a little bit more zap a gap, and that's the finished fly. It's a really awesome clouser. And what I like about it is this rabbit strip here adds a little bit more wiggle to the fly when it moves through the water. But also, what it does is help keeps the, uh, helps the fly keep its shape. So it doesn't totally slick down when it gets in the water. It maintains a little bit of uh, a, a thicker profile. So the combination of that uh, thicker profile and the added movement and that little kick that you get from that rabbit strip have been dynamite, especially for smallies on the flats on the Missouri River, but pretty much anywhere where you find smallmouth, this fly will work. And the other thing I would suggest is, you know, we do tie this on a jig hook, which helps kind of give that up and down motion that you, you get when you have a, a retrieve and a loop knot that helps that fly right up and down. So that's a rabbit strip jig clouser. You can find the materials for it on our web store, uh, www.flyfishsd.com, or you can also go to blackhillsflyfishing.com, same website whichever one's easier to remember. Again, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and we just finished tying the rabbit strip jig clouser.